Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to another video. Uh, my name is the Flamboyant Flamingo, and today we're going to be looking at a replay that I just done on the Jagdpanzer IV. Uh, it's been, it's just got a HD model. It's a, it's a good tank. Um, better now, I'd say, than it used to be. Uh, and yeah, that's about, that's about it about this tank. But uh, I'm here with Matt. Hello. And he's just going to keep me company while I'm doing this. Now, I start this game off as your normal game on this map, on Live Oaks. Uh, as a tank destroyer, you go to the hill and you sit on that hill and you wait for spots. Now, looking at my stats, I'm not the best player. Uh, I, I'm average, yellow, 4,000 battles, and as you can tell on both sides, the, the teams are fairly balanced. There's some good players and there's some bad players. So, um, I don't have uh, victory percentage on, so. It's uh, it could go either way by looking at the stats, but anyway, I, I sit here and look for spots. It's a bit of a boring game uh, at the start here, and all of a sudden I get spotted, and uh, luckily I bounce a the shot there with the quite troll frontal armor of this tank if you angle it quite nicely. Um, but I'm trying to get some snipes off quite early. Um, for some reason, these tanks had pushed up the yeah, tank destroyers pushed up that far, and they got punished for it. Basically, they um. Yeah, they, we took them out pretty quickly. I think that was pretty bad at the start for them because we could just sit here and because not not normally they they would go down the zero nine line, which by the looks of it, which I didn't know at the time, most of the enemy team had done so. Um, it wasn't until they only got to the bottom, uh, going across the railway bridge that I I noticed what was going on. But anyway, you'll see that later. So now, you know, this is your average sort of game. Um, this here... Don't know how that missed. That T-50 should have gone a long time ago. And again, no idea where that went. With this new accuracy change, shots can go either way. And again there. No idea. Pardon? Ah, at this point... At this point, oh, I'm on T149 damage. At one kill. I mean, I mean, you're lucky if you camp here and try and get some kills. Well, you're just trying to get damage at the start of the game. But this is not where the game gets exciting. You have to wait. Got a good shot off there. Went exactly where I wanted it. Trying to get this Jagdpanzer here. See, this is, that is what I mean. That should have went in. But I, I, it must have hit it on its uh, on its gun mantlet. Otherwise, that would have gone in. Um, but that's what's quite troll about this tank is that it's got a big uh, gun mantlet. And now this is where I realise, and I ping to the team and tell them, right, they're coming over the train, they're coming over that bridge there, and they're going to come and attack the camp. The top two VK, they don't realise, neither does Dickamac. So I'm like, right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go and defend this camp. So that's what exactly I do. Now in Live Oaks there's this nice little dip here. Oh, I pause the replay. Um, nice little dip here that you can go in. And you can defend quite nicely from here. Um, yeah, so I go right to the edge here. Now I realised by looking at the amount of tanks that were over there that this is exactly what would happen. That's one. So I'm up to two kills. There's my third. And I'm lucky I didn't get hit here. Because um, that VK, I don't know what was going on with this guy. Put a nice shot into him. The, I thought that shot wasn't going to go in, but it did, thank God. And now this, this KV, he put quite an aggressive move on me, but I auto-aimed and it worked out for me. And I bounced a shot. That's the gun mount there for you. And again, auto-aim. Put a nice shot into its side, which set in, which killed him, which was my fourth kill. And the VK, and that was my fifth. Um, and we defended the cap there, which was very nice. I was quite proud of myself there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, well, that that never normally happens um, when there's what five tanks there. Um, you're, you're, you're hoping that 
well, you'd probably get overrun. But I kept my ground, got my kills, and now at this point, I'm hoping, I was thinking that that Cromwell, the Cromwell, the Dicamax, and the Jagdpanzer was gonna come, uh, still was pulling back, or they were coming behind these tanks, but I guess after they saw the amount of destruction, the pure destruction that me and the Dicamax and the Nashorn inflicted on this flank that they must have pulled back to their own base, I'm not sure. But um yeah the Cromwell gets spotted by their base and takes out he takes out the VK. Now this is when we spot the the Jagdpanzer IV. Now I put a nice shot into this side there. I would have bounced if I hit his frontal armor. It was really nicely sloped. But obviously he wasn't looking at me, he was looking at that Nashorn. So anyway, this is when me and the Nashorn we uh <coughs> pardon me, we move up. Now I could right, I'm not very good with this, but I'm gonna try and speed it up. Now it's all the same. It's all no, we just push up to the front now. And this, this my friends, is where it gets exciting. Now if you thought defending the cap uh was somewhat exciting this is when it all kicks off. This is why I'm putting this sweeper. I'm still, I'm still uh, shaken by it now. Now my heart was pounding. Now you wait and see. So I pull up. I, I don't want to drive into the cap straight away. So I kind of I hover around the front, see if I can get any spots in. So the view range isn't the best in this tank. Now I spot the Dickamax. So I point my gun. I'm like, shit. Right there he is. Now he goes behind the building. Oh, right, I'm going to pull back. So I start pulling back. And this guy, he's going to come out for a shot. So as I'm pulling back, I see him. Nice shot into him. But I try and, I try and uh, toggle the armor a bit, but I was better lucky there. But another, and set him on fire, but he had an automatic uh, extinguisher, which put out his fire. I probably would have killed him if he didn't have that automatic extinguisher, but sadly, he did. So he was down to... Um, He's on about 15% hit points now, so I, I again start moving back because I don't want to pull out again because he's going to know where I am. At this point, I'm pooping myself. <laughs> um, so I keep keep going back. The speed going back on this tank's dreadful, so I was hoping I wasn't going to get it caught out there. So I'm safe now. I take a nice deep breath. And I uh, decide how I'm going to get this, I'm going to tackle this situation. So I see if I can get a cheeky spot here, but I don't. So then I try and go around here, I'm going right, so to flank him. So it's exactly what I do. So I go around the buildings, try and cover my, because it's got, a, it's got a good camo rate in this tank. It is, it is good on that. And I'm like... I'm going to stick to the map borders, I don't want to go too close to the hedge or I'll spawn if he's still behind that building. So I keep going. I keep going. And there we go, I spot him. So I like, I jump. I don't even, I don't, oh my god I bounced. I was so lucky. And then I finished him off. I was so lucky there, like, if I didn't angle my armor like the way I did, I would have died. And <laughs> even in the spur of the moment, I uh, I put a quick message on on the team, because I should have died there. With the penetration of that gun, I should have died. But um, I got away with it, and that was my that was my top gun. Uh, that was my sixth kill. I'm on 2,000 damage. Now, the enemy... 12,000 battles, 1,000, he's a better player than me. A lot better player than me. Um, so, I, I'm not, I wasn't very looking forward to this, because we were both one-shots, but his frontal armor, if he plays it right, he can obviously win, but... My other dicker match is telling me in chat to go and cap, but, I mean, if I cap, I'm out in the open, the guy's going to catch me out. He's probably going to spot me before I do, so I spot him, I see him, I'm loaded premium. I critical hit him, no damage. So I pull back. Nice is bad. He's not moving. He's just gonna wait for me to reveal myself. 
which is a smart move. If he starts moving, then obviously the accuracy on the gun is going to be a lot harder and it's going to be a lower chance for him to hit me. So I pull back again, like I did earlier against that Dicamax. And I think, right, I'm going to flank him because you have a nice dip here that you can go around. So that's exactly what I do. And of course, as I'm going around, the worst thing could absolutely... I get spotted. And the guy turns his gun. No, I thought I was safe here. But... Apparently I wasn't. Now, if anyone could tell me if that was bullshit or not. Because that was... I thought I shouldn't have died there. Because the tank was too high and he wouldn't have been able to see me through that building. But apparently I was wrong. <laughs> But anyway, there we go, that's the replay. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, see you guys next time.